Um, this wall here is 613 millimeters thick. It uh, is made of largely of sandstone. It has this uh, terrible cement render on the outside of it. And this hole here is a pilot hole that I've drilled from the inside out so that I know that I'm drilling in the right place on the outside of the wall. I'm going to uh, show you the what the wall's made of. Okay, so this is the wall where the uh, render is removed. We have largely sandstone, um, but we also have a few pieces of these. These are river stones, which are made of igneous and a much harder material. But the whole thing is held together with this uh, soft lime mortar with, with pebbles in it. And I'm reliably informed by local experts i.e. my mate Ed, that it is absolutely impossible to drill a core drill into this and you have to instead go through the wall with a jackhammer which results in a hole of uh, almost the same size as the thickness of the wall. So we're talking at least 500 millimeters in diameter. So I don't want to create such a mess and I'm going to try desperately to succeed uh, with a core drill. So being a cheapskate, the first thing I did was uh, buy an SDX, SDS Max uh, drill from Screwfix. Fantastic, uh, very good value, good reviews. However, I realized it only has two settings, hammer drill and hammer. So uh, uh, with the hammer drill, this is no good for a core drill, which shouldn't, shouldn't use a hammer action. I'm not going to send it back because I will use it uh, to remove render with this, um, with this uh, chisel. Um, so instead, I'm I have rented this beast, which is a, 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 a core drill on, on a column um, with this uh, Husqvarna um, DM220 um, drill on it with, with, the, with the core drill uh, one and a quarter inch attachment. So this is a core drill I bought... Um, uh, cheaply also on eBay um, which is 150 millimeters in diameter uh, with this extension and of course this now redundant uh, SDS Max adapter. I'm going to fix this column uh, to the wall using these 20 mil rebars. I'm going to cement uh, it in with the chemical chemical cement um, because the normal fixing for that thing is better into concrete, whereas this kind of rubble wall where you don't know whether you're going to get into a stone or into um, the soft mortar means that I think I'm going to have a better fix with this, this rebar. Anyway, let's see how I get on and whether Ed is right, and this is actually impossible. Okay, so I've come across my first problem, trying to drill the mounting hole for the drill. I went in here, which is where I wanted to put the hole, uh, of course, I went straight in between two mortar joints and uh, very unstable. So I just went a little bit to the left. It has got into a, a solid bit of rock. That's just with the pilot hole. Now I've got to do it with the 30, 30, 30 mil drill to, um, to get something big enough for my 20 mil re uh, threaded bar. Right, I've got it in. It didn't go in very straight and it kept gra grabbing and... Uh, tripping the me mechanical clutch on the on the drill but anyway I got it in and the last the last couple of few inches was um, into something that felt like good good rock so I think I should get a chem good chemical bond okay all right but before I do that I'm gonna blow out the dust with my compressor standing well back
Okay, okay, just an update. I don't know why my camera stopped uh, filming at the end there. But yes, I managed to get through through the wall, uh, 62 centimeters through. Um, and uh, it went through uh, sandstone, the igneous rocks that I was talking about, the river stones or galets as we call them in France. And um, <clears throat> one of the great things about this wall is it had this uh, cement uh, render on it, which, which made it a real firm base for, um, for the stand for the drill. Um, I did another hole in, in the wall up a ladder, uh, which was also successful, but it was more tricky because it was on a mortar, a lime mortar uh, render, and uh, which became loose as I was, uh, I was drilling it. So in a way, if you really wanted to ensure success, I would, I would render just a patch above the hole you want uh, to mount so that you've got somewhere secure to and stable to to, to mount your your drill onto um, b b before you actually mount it so look um, that's the end of it thank you very much for for watching um, I'll just do a little vid video inside of the, the hole and with some of the and also show you some of the the rock samples but uh, many thanks bye